this in full scale? Have you, you tried to use it to best effect? Um, well, we've, we've tried to get a balance between obviously giving some players a little bit of rest which was needed and and obviously doing some real hard work on the training ground. So, um, you know, we, we've, we've really thought hard about it, how to get that balance, and we believe we've got that. Um, training's been good this week, leading into, obviously, Saturday's game. We can't wait to get out there and get playing again. Um, do you have Johnny Williams potentially available? No, he won't be available. Um, he'll be back He'll be back late anyway. Um and he, he won't have been kind of included in any training before Saturday anyway, so no, he, he, he won't be available to play. What have you made of, sort of Wales World Cup? Or, and I guess the World Cup generally, and Johnny not, not getting any minutes, is that a bit of a, a personal disappointment for you apart from anything else? Yeah, I think, um, I think so. Yeah, I wanted to see Johnny get on. I think it would have been great, for certainly for the football club, certainly for him, um, if he'd have got some minutes uh, on the pitch, um, kind of willing him towards the end of the England game. Um, to make that change and put him on um, so it was a shame not to see him get some minutes on the pitch but I'm sure I did speak to him um, via text message uh, yesterday and I, he's had a great time and really enjoyed the experience of it so uh, you know he'll come back unscathed um, and, and ready to go again and just generally how much World Cup do you sort of want to watch or choose to watch and have you seen any kind of interesting trends or interesting interesting things I guess you've spotted in the games not watch loads of it if I'm totally honest with you. Um, I've watched the England games. Um, I've watched Spain play, um, who've really impressed me. Um, but not, not, not really. I've not watched too much. Obviously, with with working hard uh, behind the scenes here, so it's been difficult to to, to grab um, time to watch the games. But you know, the, the games that I've watched, I've enjoyed. Um, I appreciate you know, sort of Spain at the World Cup sort of on a different level to perhaps what you can achieve here. But does that is that sort of some aspiration the way they can kind of dominate the ball and, and really sort of, you know deal with teams up? Yeah, they're very good, aren't they? They're um, you know controlled and you know play with the ball and very brave. You know they're very brave in the way they play, but they're they're, they're also a very young side. So I don't know whether they're whether this World Cup will be for them this this time round or whether they'll be better the next one because they're very young. Um, I know they've got some experience in there, um, but very good side. Really enjoyed watching them. Um, where are you with injuries? You must hopefully have a couple of people back. Yeah, no, we're pretty much there now. Um, Keen Harris is obviously uh, a long-term one now. Um, but Angus has trained pretty much all week. Um, Tom Clayton has trained pretty much all week. Rushan is back now, um, pretty much in full training now. Um, so yeah, we're we're pretty much full complement. So I know Keen came off. Can you just explain the sort of longer term? Some aspects of what he's done. Yeah, so it's uh, an hamstring grade four, so quite a significant tear there. Um, so it will be a while before we see him again. Probably fitness-wise, in terms of playing, we'll be probably back end of March, as late as, late as that. That's a, a tough one, Dave. Having just got back into the team. Yeah, seeing him today, we had a chat today, and um, very disappointing for him. Obviously, you know, we got in the team, and and that's happened at, at the time it's happened, and very disappointing. Um, but unfortunately that's the, the life of a footballer or it can be um, and it's unfortunate for him um, but I'm sure he'll work hard and, and, and get back as, uh, as soon as he possibly can and hopefully make a claim for the team again um, Is Rashawn sort of in contention for selection or is he just sort of building himself back up fitness for him? Yeah we always had sort of like this weekend as a um, earmarked for, for his return we, we feel that maybe he needs another week before we do really consider him um, so that's what we're going to do we're going to probably leave it until the 10th of the Wimbledon game um, and hopefully we'll, he'd have had another week's work in there and he'll be ready to go Are you, are you seeing sort of signs in him of what we saw briefly in that, that Plymouth game? Yeah he was good in training today you know real sharp and electrifying you know real pace um, and a good attitude you know he's, he's shown a really good attitude throughout his time here as well so uh, Looking forward to seeing him play. Um, for, formation for the, the last two games hasn't given you the results you've wanted. Has it given you the performances you wanted? You say that. I mean, formations are only kind of where the players stand at the start of the kickoff. Really, you know, um, three five two, four three three. They're all pretty much the same. Um, passing lines are the same. The rotations are the same. 
Um, you know, when we played a 4 3 3, we've asked Wakey to, to play narrow and got Hutton on. Um, and almost become a second striker. So they're very similar. Um, so I don't read too much into what system has given us what. Um, I think they're all pretty much the same, especially if you if you play with the ball like we do. You know, you roll in and out of formations anyway. Have you missed Johnny Williams more than you expected? Yes. No, not more than I expected, no, but we've definitely missed him, but I knew we would. He's a very good player, you know, he's he's a very good player. Um I think he's one that most teams when you go and have a glass of wine after a game with the manager, most most managers mention him after the game. Um so you know what you know how highly he's thought of within the game. Um but we always knew he was going to miss him. You know, he's a he's a, a real good player. He gives us that bit of spark at the top of the pitch. Um, so yeah, he's, he's he's sorely missed. But hopefully, we'll get him back, like I say, unscathed, and he, he can he can be integrated into training next week. Just sort of generally, I suppose, how important is that almost level of level of unpredictability, despite all the, the kind of structures and patterns you put in place? The fact that it might just a player like that might just do something that a defence doesn't expect, or um, will open and can open things up. Yeah, I think so. I think it's important that we have players who have that um, little bit of guile, a bit of knowledge, a bit of know-how at the top of the pitch, you know, to make forward runs, runs off the ball, runs on the ball, driving into the box, opening spaces up. Um, you know, it's important that we have that. I feel that, certainly in the last game, that we, we needed something at the top of the pitch, um, albeit we had, you know, quite a lot of box entries. I think it was 56 box entries. Uh, nine chances on goal or nine shots on target out of 20 chances on goal you know and when you look at that you, you think that you should at least create one one goal at least you know and we didn't which was disappointing um, so we've worked hard on that obviously this week um, just out of interest what would be a sort of ballpark figure that would make you happy for penalty box entries um, well anything over 30 is good Anything over 30 is, is good, you know. If you look, if you're looking at 56 box entries in a League Two game where ball in plays probably on average around 56 minutes, one a minute, which is very good, you know. Out of that 56, um, 35 was from the right, 17 from the left, and four through the middle. So it tells us a story that we need to probably change, not change, whatever different way of attacking teams. Um, you know, we want to we want to play off the front a little bit more rather than just kind of work the ball wide right and cross it. I think we became too predictable um, regarding that, so we need to we need to improve that. And um, as for Corey, what, what is the feeling for, for you as a management staff when you face a new manager who's only had a, a few days? Is it unpredictable or, or do you hope that you might be able to sort of exploit their, their own experience in a way? Well, first of all, you know, we, we kind of scrap what we were looking at. Um, I went to watch them play last Tuesday. They played Gillingham last Tuesday. Me and Jamie Day went to the game. Um, they had a. Oh, they certainly played the same formation with Lewis Young in charge for the last four or five games, or however many he was in charge. Um, you know, so you you kind of scrap and think, well, you know, that might change now. Um, and then you do as much background work on on what their manager's done at his previous club and find out if there's a pattern in, in what formations he plays. So we've done a quite, kind of a lot of digging. Um, and, you know, whether there's useful information there or not, it remains to be seen. But what I have done is I've used this week as, as a, a week to be productive and concentrate on us so much, or, or more so, should I say, um, which is important. We, we, we still do that, you know. If we're playing against a team where we're not sure what they're going to do, we're not sure on personnel they'll play or formations, the one thing we can do is is really nail down what we're going to do. I, I guess your knowledge of Peter Brown's 23s and their tactics has increased this week. It's increased this week by uh, dr dramatically, yeah. So, uh, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, you know, they've got some good players there that, who can hurt you. Um, they've underachieved, in my opinion. But listen, he's a new manager, so um, let's hope that uh, he has a positive impact. But after Saturday, um, do you sort of last one? Do you do you kind of look at their striking line or the strikers they've got available? And are slightly surprised they're not further up in that case. Yeah, they've got good strikers, haven't they? You know, in Addison and Dom Telford, and 
even players around them and behind them, the good players, you know, um, who can open you up. They've got good midfield players who can play, can handle the ball certainly. Um, so yeah, yeah, we're really surprised that they're not uh, higher up the, up the table. Um, and I'm sure, I'm sure they will become a force at some point, especially under this new manager. Thank you. Thank you.